Hello, hello everyone. I'm Mr. Rishi and welcome back to another episode of Ranked Rodeo. Again, sorry for not uploading, but we are here and we are now, right? New patch. New patch, new meta. Um, this is the team that we're going to be using today. We got uh, OB10. We got a digi, like a minimal, mini dingy core here with OB10, Zalbi, and Chromion. We also have new the newly buffed master newly buffed mushuk newly nerfed grandpa and newly buffed volfi here um all these this team has been doing really well for me so far uh we uh, just got our first legend in the community um for this patch uh, argon congrats to him for reaching it uh we are at diamond two division one right now so not super high not super low though so let's just start a match finding a match uh, and i'll catch you guys when i find one Okay, we are back. And let's see what we got here. We got a pretty, like, I wouldn't say standard because we there isn't really a standard yet. Uh, but the core of, like, Tolkien, Calibus, Balash, Sambi has been seen a lot. Um, especially Sambi and Balash being paired together is nothing, nothing out of the ordinary for this early meta that we are in. Um, they end up banning our grandpa. That's pretty good for them. I do want to end up banning the Nesla. That opens up our Mastion, opens up our Zhaobian, opens up our Obi a decent amount. Although we have plenty of ways to deal with the Nestle in double nature, a crystal, and a toxic. So because of that, I think we're actually gonna ban the Tolkien. Tolkien opens up the things that do get take care of Nestle. Or banning Tolkien opens up the things that take care of Nestle, such as Mushuk, such as Two Vines, such as Nature Chromion. And obviously we got the we got the guilty gear music going in here uh you know how it be you know you know how that grind be maybe i can turn the temp temp volume just a little bit make sure yep that's all good all right so they first pick a bowler end into us um huh I think I really want to pick Chromion into them because that covers for a lot of different things I can choose. I think we will go Chromion and we'll follow it up with something like Volfi. Volfi will give Chromion Sinner Typer, but a better idea is probably following it up with Tuvine. Just because Tuvine can take care of Akronox, can take care of Sambi, and it can take care of Calibus also. Okay. They got Momo that is more than fine, I think. I think I'll go Lash. That's okay. We can follow up their Lash pick with a ban. I want to say a ban on Akronox. Just because my flash is gonna take a lot, or my two vines gonna take a lot of damage this early game. We probably aren't taking Mastion though this game. Hmm. We also ban the Calibus or Momo. I actually like a Momo ban even more. Momo just because we won't have one of our physical attackers being the Mastion. Uh, we're in a pretty good spot, I guess, so far. Well, I, we're in a pretty good spot, like, in pick ban, I mean. Like, I, I think our pick ban so far is, like, pretty good. We haven't made any mistakes so far. Uh, the, the real test of that is, like, in-game. We're definitely picking Zalbian and Volfi here, just because it's really good into the rest of their team, especially the Zalbian. The main thing that we're going to be looking to get rid of is going to be this Flash. Uh, 
Um, and then last but not least, I'll pick Mushuk. Okay. This turn one's a little tricky here. I definitely want to keep the two vine around. I think our play is just harmful microwaves the the lash and swap in Volfi, to be honest. Yeah, so the reason why we do this is because we will get Sinner type on the Chromion, but that's less of the play. It's more just so our two vine doesn't take damage. If they do try to crystal spikes the two vine, which is must what they most likely will try to do. Those press crystal spikes. They may press it on Chromion though. If they do press it on two vine, then our Volfi's gonna eat it up pretty well. And then we get the advantage damage onto the Balash, possibly putting them in range of something like a sludge gift from Volfi. Right, that seems to be a bulkier Balash. Okay, so we will die on the Chromion to a Major Slash, and we don't want our Chromion to go down just yet. Uh, they have Wardrum Bola. Based on the damage that did though with Wardrum, I think that's a much bulkier build, most likely. Um, we'll hologram here, and then I think we just we just Sludge Gift twice. On to well, mm. no, we should Dust Vortex. We don't want him to get Ninja Jutsu up. And I don't think Volfi dies to a plus two Major Slash. Even though they... I guess they don't have much special attack in best though, right? If they did that much damage to Volfi. There's actually a decent amount to Volfi though. For C spikes. Alright, so they swap out Blast, which is good for us. They're probably Toxic in Calibus. That did a decent amount. And they are not toxic skin, so that means they're like They're like mucus with a lot like with damage with attack invest or something? That's crazy. What we can do here, we can just binary flood. Or do we swap in two vine? Two vine's probably the better swap. We'll just go two vine swap here and then we'll plague the calibus. Yeah, I like that. Very surprising that they put Nutbar on Calibus with like, I'm guessing attack and vest, especially based on how much damage it took from that Dust Vortex. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. And now we can just Feather Gat, double the, uh, the left slot. Well, maybe we don't double the left slot. I kind of like the idea of trapping in Volarend or whatever comes into the Volarend spot. If they do attack while we play, then they end up OXing, which just gives them a dead slot next turn. Giving us room to like pivot into something else. Okay, so we have the Feather Gat come down. Awesome, that will 2KO them. And they do OX on the Volo, which is beautiful for us. They Water Jet 2 Vine, that's fine. Huh. We can Feather Gat Link here, and then we can just swap out into Mushuk. This will make them not want to bring it. This will make them want to bring in the Sambi. Well, this will more of not make them want to bring in Sambi. This will kind of force them to bring in Sambi. They bring in Acrodox for some reason.
And they get two KO'd by that, which is really good for us. Uh, we can just turbo choreography here, I think. And we'll turbine the Akronox. Yeah. This just allows us to outspeed Sambi and stuff. I guess I could go for the Sting. I don't think Sting plus Feather Guy will kill us with Toxic Kick, though. So they do Sting. We should still have one more turn of Nut Bar. Yep, we do. And they are not... Uh, they're not which we call it. Cobwebs. Which is very good for us. Meaning that we can swap. And they just feather Gatling with Bola onto Mashok. And we do not get to a KO'd. And they overexert, meaning that they do not have a good spread. Are we going to swap out Tupan here? And we'll just... Perfect jab into- well, we'll just perfect jab into uppercut the Blash, I think. And then we can swap in Chromion pretty easily, I'd say. Okay. Okay, they bring in the Sambi. That is in ready to pop a cut now. Hmm. I think what we do. Oh, they have ninja jutsu up. We do need to keep Zalbian and Chromia. We can hologram here, I guess. Oh, uppercut. Okay. Get the uppercut off. Hologram should protect us from like. I guess uh, I didn't expect us my uppercut to be my Chromion. Are they time split? Hmm. That's very scary, actually. That's actually very scary. Uh, we'll just binary flood here. Probably into Volfi. Well, I actually swapped in two button. They're probably transient echo my was shook. They could also hit Chromion, which is bad. Yep. Okay, they're married. So they do. They're kind of fast. Oh, no, but they're, they're plus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might have entered this game, not just harmful microwaving with uh, Chromion that one turn. Yeah, we'll just go Zalbi in here and we'll go Bulfy. Okay, how can we deal with this? We can Electro Punch here. Then we can Plague the Volaren to overexert it. They swap out, we'll look. The hypnosis here. That's fine. Hey, okay, what we can do here is that we can just wake up the Zabian.
That was just Electro Punch. So no, we have to we have to actually plague the Calibus, right? Because if we don't, we will die on Zalvi into Water Jet. I guess they don't have Water Jet up yet, but they could have Aqua Stone, which we just don't want to risk it. This is the whole thing. Huh. Okay. We are in a very good spot. Then I kind of inted really hard. And now we might be back into a good spot because they swapped out the bowler in that one turn. They do seem to have um, attack invest on that sand bead. Go this. Don't go leg. Bamboozle. That's fine. That is more than fine with me. Damn, because of how much the damage they've been doing and how fast they are because they were they were faster than my volfi three prior when they're at plus two meaning that they're more than 222 speed they might die to this okay they don't die but they're very low yeah we'll just electro punch oh plague because now the volrend Cannot kill my Zalbian very easily because I uh, resist both of the, its steps. Okay, awesome. And the Volan should die here if my Zalbian doesn't die, that is. Oh, they purgation. What? That was definitely never the play. Yep, GG. Now we just turbine here. Hey, there we go, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, we are back. We're versing the Warwick. Okay, what are we banning here? I do want to ban the Nagais. I don't think we need to ban the Nagais though, because so I do have Volfi, Chromion, and Tuvine. I mean, it's just a Tolkien ban again. I kind of like the ability to ban Tolkien. Uh, we'll pick the Chromium. Hmm. I think we can go Zalbi in here. And we'll actually outspeed the Ukama Akronox like pretty easily. I guess they could swap out the Ukama though. They could swap out the Ukama and then like Soil Seam Zalbian, which would be bad. That would be pretty bad. It took me 10 years to find the answer something I forgot about it in two seconds Alright, we'll ban the nut guys here Uh, we'll go We'll go Mushroak Huh. I'll go Masium. Last. Uh, 
I, this seems like a pretty good shout. This pig man doesn't seem like too bad for us. I guess what they swap in, they swap into the Mudred or the Lawali here. If they do decide to swap out. Yeah, I think about that. Then we're gonna swap into Mushuk. If they swap into Mudred. If they swap into Lolly, it's gonna take a lot of damage, which opens up my Mushuk. Or they just keep a new comma and die. Yeah, they sort of seem. I think that one probably dies this because of Marble Ship. Okay, never mind. I don't even know if Marvel Strip was the difference. It may have not been. And I guess we can just go into Mushuk? Does it go into a Doro here? Then we get a free binary flood off. And we can just swap out Mushuk. Alright, they go to Wally. Do we double here? I guess we do just binary flood wastewater. Although uh, the Akronox looks like a bit of a threat if I don't hit it, start hitting it. So we'll binary flood and then uppercut it, I think. They swap out into a Doro here, then we get damage on a Doro, but uh, that's really weird for us then. If they outspeed my Mushuk, actually, then we're kind of fucked. So, we'll Resin Trap swap into... Resin Trap swap into Mastion. Yeah. This will be interesting how this plays out. Like they have proxy here. So they do outspeed my Chromion, which means that they do uh, outspeed my Mushuk also. Their Akronix doesn't outspeed my Chromion though. But I guess it makes sense because they probably have to unspeed the combo. Okay. Let's just double Akronix here though, I think. I guess that doesn't really do anything. Well, Binary Flood for sure. I don't think we get a move off with Bastion ever. Like in any world. So we'll just Water Blade Akronox. Okay, they hit the Chromium. Good damage, good damage. Okay, they did a lot of damage to their Lawali. Which is kind of weird. But I guess we take that. Because now we can go into Obi. And we can harmful microwaves here. Do we even need harmful microwaves? Yeah, I guess we do. We always harmful microwaves here. Tesla. If they hit the OB, then we're chilling. Because our Chromion's kind of our win con here. Okay. 
Okay, they go into Mudred, which is really bad for them. Hey, Sing, this shouldn't kill us. Awesome, awesome. That's beautiful, actually. Because now we get the minus one speed on the Mudred, meaning that we cannot speed with our Chromion. Possi oh, possibly. The three power might still outspeed our three power. So what we'll do to guarantee that our three power outspeeds their three power is we're gonna electromagnetism them. A lot of you guys probably haven't ever even seen this move. What it does is that lowers the enemy speed at four priority and traps them for three turns. Hey, there you go. We're still not in a good spot though. Cause they have a Doro in the back still. I guess our Doro or our Obi might be able to beat the Doro. So we'll just waste water here and we'll bush. Okay, leave the hypoxia and the evade. We have to the door, which is really good for us. Even though we most likely have to the door, but like they could be like max beta door or something. And we just barely get to a KO'd. But that should be fine. We'll uppercut here. We'll uppercut and we'll just start. We'll just start Tesla prisoning. That does nothing. Ah, it would have been really nice if we didn't, uh, if we didn't die there, but alas. Okay, what we'll do, we'll binary flood here, and then we'll Tesla prison. Okay, um, we have one way of winning here. If they don't rest, I think, and they decide to beta burst while we bush. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Fuck. GG. Uh, I think I think that makes us lose it at least. Yeah. I should have just rested actually. Resting might have won me the game there. Cause the beta burst. Were, oh dang! I might have just thrown. I think I threw. I actually think I threw. Ah <laughs> uh, oh well, it happens. Hey, right, we'll try to get one more game in here, though. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Okay, we are back. Hey.
Okay, so what are we gonna be banning here? We're probably banning... Okay, if they ban Tuba, I'm gonna ban Gazuma, I think. They don't ban Tuvine. Then we can ban the, uh... We can, ooh, what can we ban? Probably ban this, honestly. Ban the Monko. Uh, we can pick... We can double in with this. There aren't, isn't really any time in their, on their team that wants to take a double from this. From this lead being Chromion Zalbion. Okay, um, sorry, don't mind me. I'm just jamming out to the music while, like, being half awake. <laughs> hmm. I, so they go Zalbian, or they go Malgu, which I don't think is a very good idea by them. Unless they're, like, RDD, or Redirection Device, Gazuma? Huh. Who's about Necronox? They could easily be RDD Gazuma, honestly. That'd really suck. Alright. We'll go Mushuk, we'll go. Do we go to Vine? I don't know if we go to Vine. We'll definitely go Grandpa. Grandpa looks pretty good in the back line. And I, th I think we I think we do go to one last, but they don't pick Saiba. But they did pick Saiba. I guess Master doesn't help me in Saiba either, though. Huh. Master's just not good in their team in general. That into the draft in general. Um, yeah, we can just double Mulgu here. There are RDD Kazuma. I'm not going to play around it right now. If I was in Turney, I would, like, try to play around, see if there's a way to play around it. But I'm not in Turney. I'm just trying to relax on ladder. Record a video. You know how it be. I ended up swapping out Mulgu into Nestle, which I'm more than fine with. I don't take any damage from this. E punch. But they're gonna take a decent amount from this Chromion. Yeah. And we can just resin trap the uh, the Nestle here, I think. What can they swap out into that would be bad for us? I guess swapping out into Hazrap. With the cover for that Hazrap swap out, we can swap into Tuvine here, I think. No. Sorry, not Tuvine. We swap into Gloom. This is kind of hard. Yeah, we'll swap into Tuvine. Because we can Turbine the Hazrap. I 
I don't think Chromium dies to double. It could though. No, they don't. They don't. They decide not to double it. Good thing we didn't swap much in there. I was thinking about it. Resin should melt the Nestle. Beautiful. If they bring in Hazrat, we can kind of just uh, binary flood plus turbine Hazrat. Because we shouldn't die. Oh, we probably do die to a lot away from this range, right? If they swap in side path. But if they, even if they do swipe and swap, swap in side path though, if they swap in side path and don't go for Chromion, uh, I guess they don't kill Chromion anyways. But we get a turbine. We, we get a guaranteed binary flood off, right? And if they didn't swap out Kazuma, then we killed the, the Hazrat possibly even before it moves. But they go for Tubine. And now what we can do is that we can go into Zalpian and hit Saipat. Actually, we can hit Hazrat and hit Saipat here. Oh my gosh, especially since my Zalbian underspeeds my Chromian now, so the harmful microbes will get synergy, and then the turbine goes off. Sheesh. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. The harmful microbes off there, and we get the turbine. Sheesh. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And now we can just double Malgu and put them in position where they can't come back from it. Just because Guzuma cannot take care of everything else. Yeah. I guess, I guess technically it might be able to. But it'd be very hard for them to. Because they still have to kill the Chromion, which I guess they don't do very easily. And they would have to use uh, multiple Tornadoes throughout the whole ordeal. And they have to kill the Zalbian, which is easy for them because it's an electric type right now. So they don't hit for super effective damage. Yep, GG! Well, that was, a, that was a quick game to end it on, but I think I am going to end it there. Thank you everyone so, so much for coming to this video. Whether you liked it or not, please consider leaving a like. Only if you liked it, please consider leaving a like. Also, make sure to consider commenting and subbing as it does go a long way. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't been very active on YouTube, but I do plan on being more active, especially since I now have someone helping me out with thumbnails. Shout out to Airplano slash Alba. They are gonna be helping me out with thumbnails going forward, which was my least favorite part to do for youtube they're also gonna be helping me out with editing so overall i pretty much just have to really focus on the recording process meaning that we're gonna be able to get more things out to you guys um hope everyone has an amazing day week in life and i'll catch you guys all in the next one peace